Hey there, so this is my packing video for my Jujube Be Sporty bag. Um, this print is called Sea Punk, and while I absolutely adore the print, I don't think I like this bag. Oh, and of course, I'll say why, but I have this packed up for an almost five-year-old and an almost 11-month-old for a few hours at the park for a birthday party. I have uh, customized padded straps that go on the, the backpack straps because this bag only comes with seatbelt straps and I had a changing pad sent out to get these cushion straps made. I feel like it still wasn't very comfortable to wear the backpack compared to the, the Be Right Back. So that's one negative thing about this, and I knew about that before I bought this bag. Um, I just wanted to try it myself. Reviews to me are one thing, but I feel like I have to experience it myself to know if it's gonna work for me or not. <laughs> so I'll show you what I have in it. It's basically packed full. So I know I won't be using it like that anymore if I do keep it. And we're sick right now, we're getting over having a cold. So I wanted to pack this bag so everything that we need is going to be right at my fingertips. Um, this front pocket here, I have a pack of boogie wipes because I needed those a lot today. And that's it in this pocket. Then the um, mommy pocket, I have a lot of loose things in this mesh pocket here. My lip gloss, my mirror, some Xylachew gum, and I had a hair tie uh, for easy access. A little feminine wipe there. I don't know why, but so that's what I had in the mesh pocket. In the main compartment, I have my sunglasses. And these are Warby Parkers, so the sunglass case is really um, awkward. Um, then I have a pack of tissues, and I have that right here so I could just grab them right out. I have hand sanitizer foam. It was in between the glasses case and the tissues. So it's, this is Baby Gannick's sanitizer foam. And then I have my small set piece that I'm using as a wallet, stuffed with two B charged. And then in this zippered pocket, I have some more odds and ends. Baby Gannick's balm some sunscreen in a tube some lip balm here and then I also had a sunscreen stick that I am missing I, I put it in my tulip pocket but that was in between some of the stuff here so I could just grab it easily and then on this side um, I'm Kind of hard to open but my husband broke off the tokidoki zipper here the zipper pull so um i have my swell bottle this is the uh 17 ounce and i'm sure all the other videos have um mentioned that it does fit the 17 ounce you just have to kind of squish it in there and then the other side i have my um my older son's thermos fits in there with room to spare. Then um, in the back, I've just been putting all of our trash back there, but I have the um, light change pad that comes with the sporty. I'll just take this out now. So that was back there in case I needed to do a diaper change, which I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. Um, I also put the messenger strap back there 
See, this is why the bags have crumb drains because you just shove things in there. Um, so I kept the mess strap because I thought maybe I wanted to use it that way. I like to have the option. Um, and then opening the bag up. Luckily, I only needed the things that were on the top or towards the top of the bag. Just not really liking how this packs <laughs> when it's full. At the top, I brought a sun hat for my baby. Um, it's a little bit too big for him, so I didn't really get to use it. Uh, and since the two bottle pockets were full, I had no place to put his Komotomo bottle of water, so I stuck it in there. Then I have um, a replay snack tower, just a single. And um, of course, I have to show you what's in there. Those little pups. And then in a reachable, I did use the first aid kit. My Be Mine um, as my first aid kit. I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up because I'm always talking about my Be Mine as a first aid kit and I never show how it's packed. So this video is gonna be even longer than normal. <laughs> so in this pocket here, I have Q-tips via medical tape, gloves, and gauze pads. So that's all that's in this pocket. Then I have these tweezer things that came in like a Medibuddy uh, and then scissors. There's a little clear compartment of the Be Mine. I have triple antibiotic ointment, I have hand sanitizer gel, and I have burn gel here. And then in this little zip pocket, I have some extras. I have like a towelette, I have a thermometer, um, more towelettes, and one of these um, butterfly uh, thingies. <laughs> I forget what they're called. But they're butterfly something. And then in the back, I had a very small amount of band-aids. I ended up using a, a tiny one for my, my son's toe. So I'm gonna need to refill this. <laughs> so band-aids in the back. Because I figured um, I don't have to open the whole thing if I just need band-aids, but um, I needed to open it up to get the um, antiseptic antiseptic wipe out. So there you go, that's what's in my med kit. Uh, and then I put a tulip blanket on the side, in case we need it, we didn't. I did use this medium set piece that had um, some pouch food for my baby, my Sea Punk Be Neat, and a spoon. So I ended up taking that out, and that was easily accessible. But if you can see way down in there, oh, it's just so cramped up. I had this was candy from the birthday party. I had a large set piece with diapering needs. Three size four diapers, wipes, and a little baggie. That's what fit in there. And then I had a quick here. Not a quick, sorry. A large set piece with um, change of underwear for my four and a half year old and shorts and a shirt for my baby. And I didn't need to use that. Then there's a wet bag in that mesh pocket. And then the small mesh pocket, there's a burp cloth that I didn't need to use. I think if I needed to use it, um, it would have been an inconvenience because it was squished in all that stuff. So I'm going to do a little reverse <laughs> packing.